What up, YouTube? All right. So we got another video here for y'all. Got another video here. Gonna be uh. Let me stand this camera up a little bit. Gonna be another rod and reel, rod and reel video here for y'all. So the rod itself is gonna be this Berkeley amp, the Berkeley amp saltwater edition, and I got it in the seven six. Shows braid 10 to 30, mono 10 to 17, and lura 1 fourth to 3 fourth. The action there is a medium action. And this is the 7.6. Alright, so that's the rod, y'all. You can get them at Walmart, online, or you could get Amazon. And uh, so we got here now. going to be the Cascine, the Centron, the Cascine Centron reel, and I got it in the 4000, Cascine y'all, so let me go ahead and open this up here. I'm uh, right handed so I'm going to go ahead and switch it to where I need it. I'll do the right hand reel. up here y'all yeah, so this is the Casking Centron 4000 a lot of videos online on this reel here one of my friends has it it's a good little reel they got it in size 500 for ice fishing or say you just want a little reel for minnows bluegills or you could get it in a thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand or a five thousand So I got it in the in the 4000 there y'all. The Casking the Centron. It got uh I believe this one has 17.5 drag. And it has 9 plus 1 ball bearings. Pretty smooth there y'all. Drag system there. You're flipping the bail. Nice little lock there. Snaps back pretty good. your Cast King Centron, y'all. Gonna slap it on here.
Okay. So that's how it looks on there. The 4,000 size wheel. We'll go ahead and get away with this right here. Berkeley app. Hey, for those of y'all gonna get this, you do get a free sticker there, y'all. That's a sticker inside there. Berkeley sticker. Alright. So let's take a look. Pretty decent. Now, what I got here, got some Hercules, super tough, braided line. I went ahead and got the 20 pound, and this is a 300 yard row. There go, y'all. So it's quality inspected. I'm going to show you our color I got here. Open that up. So I went with the, uh, the blue camo there. That's what we're going to be spooling up today. Some 20 pound blue camo. get the prepare the reel here I believe this one just gonna come like that so I'm gonna go ahead and put me a piece of uh, electrical tape on there nice little piece just a wrap around for a little backing Alright y'all, so I'm going to get y'all a little close up of that, sh that back in there. So that's what it should look like. I'm going to put you a little piece of back in. That way the, the braid has something to grab onto. A lot of reels do come braid ready. I'm going to go ahead and tie on there. So I'm going to go ahead and give it 10 wraps. Go 
head center down. Keep it right there nice in the middle. And tighten her up. Okay. Clean it up. Alright, so that's how we look like right now, y'all. I'm gonna flip your bell closed. I'm gonna go ahead and put my, my spool on the ground here. Right in front. Oh, I forgot to put it through the first line, but it's alright. That's one step I did forget, but it's okay. It just helps you keep it a little bit steady. get that spool out. Went under the sofa, y'all. Hey, this is a at-home way to do it. This is the way I've been doing it. I used to hold the line for my grandpa as a kid, you know, stick a pencil through there. And, uh, yeah, so we're getting it done. Going under that sofa. Alright, so I am seeing a little bit of the color coming off. So, about this line, you are going to get the color fading off on you a bit. Mostly the, the black. But for colored lines, a lot of braideds are, uh, they do fade, they're colored, they're dyed. Some don't, some are no, no fades. We're getting her spooled up, y'all. sofa y'all let's keep 
this pool out in front of you. Nice and tight. a few more wraps. like one more good spin here. All right there y'all. It's pretty good. All right, we can cut off right there. This tip up here is real sensitive. I heard, uh, seen some videos, they say real easy to, to snap that, that tip up there. So uh, definitely want to be careful with that tip. This front tip here. It's really thin and really sensitive. So do want to be careful with that. And Let's see how it looks. They say these are the fish, the, the fish catching machine right here. This rod, y'all, it's the fish catching machine. I'll give y'all a little look with that braid on there. screenshot there well, I'll do the screenshot after for the but yeah there it is y'all so I will be doing some casting videos with this and showing y'all some more about this combo that I just put together so got some camo here Got some camo braid, 20 pound on there. And stay tuned for some more, y'all. Thanks for watching.
Peace out, y'all. See y'all soon.